What is up, MFers? Today is the day that, uh, I don't know why, but I think I was actually like halfway dreading and not looking forward to this day for a long time. Today is the first day of the 2017, it's almost 2018, ice fishing season. I'm out here with my boy, Ethan. We're out here at this sexy little lake. You know, like I said, I wasn't even really looking forward to this day for some reason, but Ethan came out here to check the ice yesterday, caught his PB bluegill, a bunch of eater-sized crappie, and once he told me that, I just got freaking jacked all of a sudden. I was totally ready to do this. Uh, one thing that does suck today, it is negative one right now. Wind's blowing about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Not very warm day, but we got the hut, we got the heater. We're just shaking big. This ice is like four inches maximum. It's gonna be a, an interesting little day. We're out, we're on. Me and Ethan are uh, not small guys. I don't like stuff like this because it's like a changing of ice areas, especially when it's, you know, four inches thick. So I could go through it any second. Always a good feeling. I feel like after uh, that 30 degree water experience in Arizona I had, I'm down for anything. And by down for anything, I mean, I never want to feel that way the rest of my life. It was so cold. Yep, got him. Oh, sexy. First fish of the year. Nice little eater crappie. Hell yes. Ethan's out there drilling holes for the tip ups. And we got some dinner. So I guess I got a little excited and didn't really show you guys anything. Got excited to get out here and kind of drop it down, but this is what we're using for bait. Got this little, this is called a teardrop if you're not familiar with ice fishing, and then a wax worm. This is like my favorite setup all time for fishing like this, for ice fishing. And so this is my vertical pixel graph and I haven't really showed you guys this a whole lot, but those marks down there, so it's about 16 feet deep. It says 14 feet right there but that's the bottom right there. And then there's like a little tree branch right there, but those are all fish right there. And so the cool thing is I can drop my, my lure down, my little teardrop, and it actually picks that up. So it's basically, it's video game fishing right there on the graph. So I can watch those fish come up to it. And really what you wanna do is you wanna put that, that bait right around where those fish are and see if they'll come in. And if they don't commit, then you lift it up a little bit higher. Um, and usually the ones that'll chase it up off the bottom um, or out of their school are the ones that are gonna commit to it. Ice fishing's super sick though, because you literally could catch a 10 pound walleye or a three inch bluegill on that same little teardrop. You have no idea what's gonna bite. I've even had muskrats come up through the hole but uh, hopefully that doesn't happen today because that usually means I about poop my pants. It was nice being able to, Jesus. Got him. That might be a little loose. He's hooked up with a giant. It's pulling drag. Oh, and it's a bluegill. Ooh, good little bluegill. Another little keeper. Eater, keeper, keeper eater. Beauty. That was fun. I should probably maybe tighten this up, huh? Yeah, that was a little loose. That's okay, though. Got him. That's not a crappie or a bluegill. Oh, I no, think I we're snagged. You no, you don't. I got my own. Oh, no. no oh, no. The oh, okay. I'm really stupid. <laughs> it's like, double! Is that, look at that. Nice little, better one. sexy, eater crappie. Boom! Drop the poles. Okay, we did. Poles are dropped. We're not going anywhere. It's no. zero degrees Big and getting colder. All right. Going exploring. I suppose I could catch the fish that's on mine. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Big ol' crap eye! Right. Not that big, but... Big, nonetheless. Definitely a good, fat... Eater size on the little teardrop. All right, that's the best one we've caught. Stinky. We got a flag up on our secret bait. Let's see if I can break through the ice running over here. Is it going? Oh, 
cold out here. No, uh, no go. First, first flag. We think the wind might have tripped it. That's okay though. I'm getting back in the hut. It's cold. All right, guys. We now have five little panfish. No takers uh, so far, except for the one on the, the tip up. We don't know if it's a false alarm. Ethan said it probably wasn't a false alarm, but uh, kind of slow and steady, which is weird. We've seen fish on our graph. You can see them. They're right there on the graph right now. Seems like they kind of come in waves of activity though, and you get bites. So. Ethan's out doing a little bit of exploring now, looking for a, a new hot hole, if you will. And then we're going to shuffle on over there because it's uh, it's cold. It's The temperature started off at zero today. It's going to drop the entire day. It's going to be windier and windier the whole day. High tomorrow is like negative five or negative six with a low of negative 24 or something ridiculous. It's insane, but we're catching fish. Going to be cooking those up tonight for dinner. Cannot complain. God, who is this guy? Let's see if we can get a double. He's over here, out of bab. Are you way down by the bottom? Yeah. Sick. Ethan's got another crap eye. Vertical jigging, video games. I like it. This guy is frozen solid. He's chum now. He's floating. <laughs> I bet he is. He's destroyed. You see, you need to keep the Well, are you gonna fucking bite or play Tillywinks there a bit? There you go. No tiddlywinks. Ooh, it feels good too. Oh, tanker bluegill. Hell yeah. Just switched up to this spoon. That's a cool thing about ice fishing. You can catch fish on stupid stuff like this spoon. Not that it's that dumb, but that's a freaking tank bluegill. That's like a nine inch probably. You ever seen a nine inch before, Ethan? Ooh, that is a fish. Yep. 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 Slonchosaurus crap eye. How's that hole coming for you over there? It's kind of funny because we're whacking crappie. And this dude, he's right outside there. He's probably listening to me right now. Just rolled up on us and started trying to fish next to us. But it turns out it's too cold for his auger to work. So we're going to sit in here and be loud about how many crappies we're catching. Giant! <laughs> Oh god, he smoked it. And he's all around my transducer. Yep, that's a good good old crappy. We're gonna be eating good tonight, folks. Alright, we are uh, we're making a move. It's warmed up to negative two degrees. And so far, first first spot was good. Got my quick strike rolling, it's a slushy now, quick slushy strike. And probably got uh, 15 or so crappie, a couple bluegill. No giants yet, no mondos, no uh, no bass. We're moving to a spot though I think it's gonna have some more bass, potentially a giant pike as well. So, uh, can't really hate that. We'll see how this goes. I I'm liking it though. So far, so good. Hey, babe. There we go. First move spots. Big bluegill. Oh, God. Look at that freaking gill, man. That is a big one. Probably about nine and a half. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a tank. Hashtag hubcap. Yeah. Vegan. Let's hear you just the tip. Ethan has a just the tip. You want to use like a, a knot that passes through the eye of the hook twice. Because then you can adjust your knot. So, see so how, how that, it dangles. Yeah, see how that stands yeah. like that. Beauty. And then you can kick the tail. And I like it. Works. That's a good hashtag just the tip. And this is Ben, just the tip. Oh, just kidding, here he is. Maybe. Good? Yeah. Oh, look at that bluegill, dude. That is a freaking tank. Old Mr. Leathermouth. That thing is a giant, dude. Oh my god, he's got freaking shoulders. Woo! That's a freaking slaunch gill. Nine and, Nine and a half or so. Hell yeah. Alright, I'll keep him, but anything bigger than him is going back. Boom! He's probably gonna have some Giant fish. gill.
got all those fish cleaned up. Can't wait to freaking eat those. What a what a great start to the ice fishing season. You know, we didn't catch a giant wall. I didn't catch a giant pike or bass or anything like that, but super, super solid day with Ethan. We were out there on pretty thin ice. It was only three or four inches in most spots, so always good to uh, not fall through and catch fish and have an awesome, awesome meal for dinner. It was insanely cold. Like it was negative two degrees when I got off the water. Wind was blowing about 15 miles an hour. Wind chills are insane right now. Got this Arctic blast running through the Midwest. So it was about impossible to move around and really get anything together. But luckily we drilled enough holes, moved around just enough that we ended up with some really quality fish for dinner, especially. Honestly, pretty stoked to be back on the ice. It's gonna be a long ice fishing year this year, I think, and I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm gonna give you guys as much good content as I can, and today was kind of a good uh, warm-up, kickoff type deal. Drop a thumbs up and a comment right now if you guys liked the ice fishing video today. Let me know what you wanna see on the ice, since it's gonna be this way for probably at least a month. So I'd love to hear some feedback and some video ideas you guys have uh, for me ice fishing and what you wanna see, what you think is sick about ice fishing. Ice fishing's freaking cool like i said earlier you can catch a 10 pound bass or a two inch bluegill and you have no idea what that fish is going to be in, until you set the hook on them get them up to the hole obviously i'm gonna stop talking get out of here thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video i'll catch you guys very soon peace i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sorry I can't stop with a love like mine I can't